Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you. As usual I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve each problem on your own first, choose the correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. What would be the sex of individual uh, that has three chromosomes X, X and Y? This is all uh, sex chromosomes and here is uh, four answers to choose from and whether it's going to be male, female, hermaphrodite or mosaic. So uh, in order to solve this problem and many analogous problems uh, everything you have to know is that any extra X chromosome in our cells both uh, whether it is female or male uh, would be inactivated and would form a bar body. For example, genotype of the female is two X chromosomes. Of course, X chromosome doesn't look like this, just like any other chromosome. Uh, it has centromere and uh, long or short and long arms. Sometimes uh, these arms can be of the equal size in different chromosomes. So one of the chromosomes, as you know, in female would be inactivated and would form bar body. And in male, male's uh, genotype is X and Y. Because male has only one X chromosome, it wouldn't be inactivated, it always would be active. But whenever males has extra X chromosome, this is going to be male because as you see uh, Y chromosome are present here, so genotype would be two X chromosomes and one small Y chromosome. And any chromosome except one would be inactivated. And for example, genotype of some males can be even three X chromosomes and one Y chromosome. But in this case, two X chromosomes would be inactivated. And this is going to be a male, one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. And the same is true for some females that has one extra X chromosome, so genotype would be three X chromosomes and two would be inactivated and would form a bar body. So maleness defines not how many X chromosome we have, but the presence of the Y chromosome. If Y chromosome is present, this is going to be phenotypically a male. Those, of course, uh, one extra uh, X chromosome would cause some uh, syndromes in such a male and phenotype uh, would be uh, different from the normal genotype, but still phenotypically this is going to be a male and uh, if female has uh, extra X chromosome, uh, also this is going to be female because female doesn't have Y chromosome. So this is uh, easy. Just remember that whenever you see Y chromosome, no matter how many X chromosomes, this is going to be a male and any chromosome over one chromosome in any cell would be deactivated and would form a bar body. So we can uh, circle answer A. This is going to be a male. And, uh, for example, ANSI C, hermaphrodite, uh, this is phenotype when a person has uh, both sex organs of the male and female. And this is different from uh, what we see here. And mosaic, ANSI D, is, um, example would be, uh, basically any female is uh, mosaic, because in Females uh, has, um, as you see, 22 autosomes plus 2 X chromosomes. 
one inherited from the mother side, another X chromosome inherited from the father side. And these two chromosomes, X chromosomes, can be slightly different because uh, one inherited from mother side, another from the father side. And early in embryo development, some of the cells uh, may have deactivated uh, X chromosome from the mother side. Other cells may have deactivated X chromosome from the father side. So from this um, point of view, we may say that um, every female is mosaic. So um, next question, part one and part two on both tips of the Y chromosome are and once again, here is uh, four answers to choose from. If I would uh, make a career type of the, uh, any person, uh, all the chromosomes in career type, as you know, organized in pairs, depending on the size, from largest to smallest. So we have uh, 22 autosomes, uh, 22nd would be the smallest ones and the first pair would be the biggest and uh, male for example would have also X chromosome and Y chromosome. So uh, here as you see uh, is a problem when uh, the cell divides with uh, uh, during mitosis or meiosis all uh, pairs of homologous chromosomes line up uh, in the middle of the cell and would be pulled to the different side of uh, new daughter cells. But with this pair of chromosomes, uh, as you see, it is obvious that uh, the genetic makeup is different. So how our organisms solve this problem? And the problem is solved uh, in a way that uh, both X chromosome that has almost 2000 genes and Y chromosome that is much smaller and has less than 200 genes can um, line up together because uh, these two chromosomes has pseudo autosomal regions and uh, there are two such regions par one and par two, par one on the short arm of the chromosome and par two on the long arm of the chromosome. Par one has about 2.6 million bases, so these two regions uh, has the same genetic makeup. And uh, par two on the other tip of the uh, each chromosome has about 320,000 base pairs that is also homologous. On the short arm of both uh, X and Y chromosome we can find about 29 genes. So uh, crossing over can happen here but as you see because these regions on the tips of both chromosomes uh, X chromosome basically wouldn't change uh, this uh, genetic material that lays between these two tips with Y chromosome. So our answer would be uh, answer B on the tips of uh, Y chromosome we can find par 1 and par 2 um, regions and uh, there are number of series how Y chromosome were uh, derived from the uh, X chromosome. So uh, some of the scientists think that Y chromosome is greatly reduced X chromosome. So Y chromosome lost uh, most of the information that we can find on the X chromosome, but some of the regions are still homologous are still the same that allows these two very different chromosomes uh, line up during mitosis and meiosis. 
And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.